Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kriti and I'm a data science and analytics professional. In this video, I will be showing how Mac operating system users can install MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench IDE on their systems for the purpose of learning and recreational data analysis. Just to give you a little context about MySQL, it's a free and open source database software developed by the company Oracle and is mainly suitable for exercising concepts in relational database systems. This installation comes as a prerequisite to my data analytics tutorial series. So if you're interested in learning about the fundamentals of data wrangling, make sure to stay tuned by subscribing to my channel or following my account on Instagram. With that, let's jump right into it. So there are two steps to completing the installation. First, we install MySQL Server and then followed by MySQL Workbench. First up, let's look up the MySQL Server installer by typing it into our beloved search engine. I'm going to download the installer from MySQL's official website uh, and I've provided the link in the description below. As you can see from the drop down menu, there are versions available for each of the different types of operating systems. Um, and for this purpose, uh, we're keeping it at Mac OS. It's actually selected by default. So we'll leave the OS version as it is, um, as it shows us all the available uh, versions. I'm currently on operating system 11.6.2 Big Sur and I'm going to pick out the x86 64 bit because the ARM is not quite compatible with mine. Um, then I'm going to hit download, uh, skip the registration and wait for it to complete. All right, so once we have that in place, we're, I'm just going to open up the installer. And then I'm going to see a package actually on my system, which I can use to install my SQL server on my system. Just going to double click that and allow it to be installed. From here, I'm just going to follow all the prompts as is. agree to their terms and conditions and then click on install that's it i'm going to close this window i just moved the installer to the bin because we no longer require it so with that as the next step i'm going to open up my system preferences to launch my sql server now this is where we're going to configure it and check if it is running. So click on initialize database and that's going to prompt me to enter a password. So this is the password that we'll be using to log into the MySQL server all the time. So I recommend storing this password in a safe place or keeping one that you can actually remember. So with that, we've configured MySQL server. And now the next step is to move on to installing MySQL Workbench. So we're just gonna pull up our beloved browser here again and type in MySQL Workbench for Mac. Once again, I'm gonna download the Workbench installer from MySQL's official website and just follow through the same process as we did earlier here we have mac os selected by default i'm just going to download the 64-bit installer for mac give it a couple of seconds to download here once that completes we see another prompt pop-up which asks us to move the workbench package to applications and I'm going to do just that. And once that completes, I'm just going to go ahead and launch my SQL workbench. 
on the main page here we see the option to either add connections manually or you can even scan servers because we've already set up and configured our mysql server the system is going to be able to scan it and automatically detect so that's the option i'm going to go with and then we see that a local instance of mysql server shows up on the home page which is a good sign which means that our sql server is configured correctly so when i go ahead and click on that little box there i'm going to be prompted to enter my password and that's going to be the same password that i set earlier while configuring sql server so once we enter the password we're in uh, this is going to be our environment where we can query databases and interact with sql server um, through the workbench ide so this brings us to the end of the installation guide and I hope you were able to follow along and install MySQL with no issues. But if you do run into issues, drop in a comment and we'll work on troubleshooting. If you found this video super helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you again next time. Bye now.